Perfect. Now we're safe. Excellent. And it is 9.45 p.m. It's perfect time to sleep. There you go. Now you can see time is really zipping by. But our hunger continues to go down, which is, you know, makes sense. I get hungry when I wake up. Do you? I sure as hell do. What's your favorite breakfast? I like breakfast burritos. All right, quest complete. Create a dirt mound using a hoe and plant seeds. That is perfect. So we're going to make a secondary... Actually, we'll just go right through here. Perfect. We're going to go right through here. Let's build another torch right there. And we're going to get our hoe. We'll decorate this area a little bit. Oh, it's number nine. Here it is. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, now let's take our some let's uh, plant some seeds, um, cabbages, and how do you do this? You uh, plant or oh, push E, and you can plant multiples by holding the E button down. So basically, all you gotta do when you whenever you have food is you extract the seeds using the letter E. So we get more cabbages, and we'll get some carrots, and you almost always get more seeds than you uh, put in. So like one carrot could generate up to three to four seeds. And you can actually level yourself up to where you get more seeds uh, per extraction. So that's super cool. And the best part is, is you don't have to water them. So we're going to till our soil a little more. Oh wait, we can't. That's stone. Silly me. Let's get this cobblestone out of the way. Replace it with nice hardy dirt. All right, uh, these are our carrot seeds. So we'll hold down the letter E and just walk across all the mounds. There we go. Perfect. And let's get our more cabbages. There we go. So now we have ourselves a nice farm. Objective complete. Open your survival panel by clicking on a green plus sign or using V. Now this is where your you know skills get used. So you have to go through everything and decide which feature best suits your playing style at the at, you know, at the right time. So, um, our choices are alchemy, which is actually not in the game yet. Then you have mining, cooking, and farming. Um, almost everything here is achievable except the watering can right now and the extra bloom. And then you can get all these little recipes right here that give you better um, food mileage. And then this stuff is for mining, so you could learn how to do a copper pickaxe, which I'm going to learn right now. This lets you hold more ore. This lets you gain a 15% chance at getting more ore per dig, so that's cool. I would also like to get, yes, stack the sizes of all the crops. What's this? Oh, a Pulaski. Learn to make a Pulaski, a tool that combines the axe and the hoe. Oh, I didn't notice that last time. And we're going to... Let's see. Let's learn a veggie bowl. Yay. So a veggie bowl is under the recipes, the bread. It just needs carrots and cabbages. Super easy to make and it fills you up really well. Quest complete. Now we gotta get some iron wand armor. Sorry, I was reading iron and wand at the same time. Iron armor, get a better wand, and kill Commander Vile. Okay, now that's one of the cool features I like about this game is there are bosses that lets you basically get deeper and deeper into the game. There is a plot line. All right, so let's get some iron armor. Oh, we need an anvil first. Okay, easy to make. Just very expensive. No worries. Okay. Alright, ready, set, go! Die, die! There we go. Just gotta keep an eye out. I saw an eye floating around. Let's eat some food. Oh, if you notice right here, uh, on my hotbar, 
I have some compost. Something in my inventory rotted away. But compost is not useless. You can actually turn that into fertilizer to make better crops. Uh, yeah, sleeping, refilling your stamina, and everything that heals you. So we're all said and done. Now, this is a mistake I made a lot. You could pick up this stuff with either the right mouse button or the letter E. If you push the letter E, you get seeds, which, when I originally streamed this, I just kept doing it over and over again. Which is not that good. It's not a good idea to just keep wasting your food like that. So let's make a few of these veggie bowls. Oh, we don't have a campfire. Uh, apparatus. There we go. Perfect. We'll make ourselves a few veggie bowls. Throw that in our inventory and we're all good. Apparatus, we'll make ourselves let's see, this uh, iron. As you can see, we get a good return value on the iron ore we get. We'll throw down an anvil. And, oh, I thought that was grayed out. That's not. It's actually just, all right, let's get the uh, iron chest. Hold on, three plus three. All right, we got our inventory. Let's put the boots on and the helmet on. Okay, cool. Did that count? Craft an improved wand. That should be pretty easy. Materials, magical objects. The wand of magic missile. Perfect. Now, one of the things I realized is there's no point in holding weaker, older weapons. So we're going to take our wand of magic spark and trash it. All right, let's just test this out real fast. So we got a zombie. Huge difference right off the bat. All right, so we got to find Commander Vile. So before we do that, let's get our hot bar a little set up here. All right. Let's try this out, actually. So if I open the door, yeah, he can't see me. Look at that. It's fantastic. Now, Commander Vile is a character who lives on the overworld. Oh, I love having this stealth armor. This is perfect. And you, could, you saw that our attack was a lot higher. Uh, it does have a cooldown, though, right? Five seconds. There we go. Now, I just picked up something called coffee, which is great. Oh, shoot. Ah! I forgot they could hurt you if they touch you. Coffee is fantastic because it refills your energy, which is super helpful when you're deep underground and you can't make it home in time. So I always try to have coffee with you. Now this is like, I guess the corruption of some kind and there's Commander Vile. I want my first hit to nail him right off the bat. There we go. As you can see, he is a strong boy. So we're gonna quickly use our healing potion and our scroll. Oh shoot, it's so busy with enemies around here. Oh, we got this, we got this. Yes! Oh my god, so many spiders. Perfect. So stupid eyes. Come here, come here, there we go. Now, what's cool is, with Commander Vile dead, the overworld will become safer. Alright, so we're going to see a lot less, like, critters uh, roaming around and attacking us. It'll be a lot safer to wander around and explore once this night is over. Perfect. Lots of iron ore. 
craft. We should be able to craft. <gasps> it's a cow! Oh, no, this is really cool. Listen to this. Listen to this. It's a Mufalo. Currently, I checked the forums. There's nothing a Mufalo can actually do. At least not yet. Oh my god, where is that eye that's shooting? You hear it, right? Um. All right, we got him. Oh, someone dropped a gun. Hold on, let's, let's have our coffee. There we go. The reflective poison wand. What's this do? Damage is 24 to 40. Oh, we can get already. I want this. Oh, that's cool. And it bounces. There are a lot of weapon varieties. There are things that are like shotguns. There are ones that shoot fireballs that catch things on fire. And poison's really good too because obviously it does more draining damage. What's that little thing up here? What's this? Blessing. Oh, that's my increased abilities from the scroll. Awesome. Okay, let's level ourselves up. Let's in increase our mana points. And we got the homestone. Okay, this is one of the most important items of the game. Now, as you saw, we just went through the corruption and... In a little bit, we'll be back home. Yay! Another good thing is that um, everything in the land regenerates over time. So the trees will come back and everything. Hi, little Mufalo. I like that it just says Moo. Okay, let's rest up, get our energy back up to where it is. And... Perfect. Now, the homestone is basically where you tell the game where your house is. Once you place it down, this is your, like, base of operations. And you could recall to it at any time. So watch, we, we'll... Uh, let's see here. Now if we hit recall... Boom! And then if I hit it again... Boom! So... No matter how deep you are in a dungeon, you can just recall yourself back home. Great mechanic. I love it. You just need to make sure you don't get hit or anything. Let's put our tools in one spot. Let's be a little better organized. Come on, Nazer. And one of the most important habits you got to learn is to um, replant everything after you let it grow. So let's get some more carrot seeds here. There we go. All right, so the, all that's replanted. Let's check our thing. Ah, here we go. Now, we got this item right here called the general store. Now, remember how I said you could build something called a bank and store items, and you could basically start building a village? Well, let me show you what, that, what I meant by that. I'm going to choose a nice flat area. Let's see here. I don't want to disturb Mr. Mufalo. Mark Mufalo. We're going to take our blueprints and then we just got to craft it. We need 10 bushels of wheat. Don't we have that? Oh, that's what rotted. Crap. Oh, shoot. That wasn't good. Oh, no, we gotta find more wheat. We might have to let the wheat regenerate in the world for a little bit. Yeah, we might have to do that. Alright, so we'll just get to the next area then. Now, like I said, the goal of the game is to work your way down. So, while wheat starts regening in the world, it should do that automatically, no big deal. We can go underground where it's nice and safe. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm starving. There we go. That should keep us sated for a little bit. Now, some of the smartest things you could use 
or grow are the blueberry bushes because you don't have to replant them. But I don't think they fill you up very easily as much as carrots or cabbages do. So it's a trade-off. All right. Now, what we're going to do is let's rest. There we go. Perfect. All right, we got good food. Now what we're going to do is try to... Oh, we killed it. Sweet. Uh, what we're going to do is see if we can get down to where we died. We took a lot of fall damage. I think that's the primary thing that killed us. Let's see. We don't need the hoe right now. Gun. We don't need the axe either. We'll put those aside here with our seeds. All right. Torch it. Torch first. Uh, and then coffee just in case, and food after that. Perfect. All right. Now, what's really cool is the deeper you go and the more enemies you kill. What is that stuff right there, anyways? The better items you find. You can find some really cool high-powered items and armor in the game just by digging around. And what's great is because the world is so small left to right, you're never really truly lost. So that's a plus.